my name is Sarah Katina. I'm a visual artist. I live in Melbourne, Australia. And um, I've got a couple of questions that people are asking me that I'm going to answer about, about my life as an artist. And um, the first question I've got is, what does it mean to be creative? What does it mean to me? Being creative to me means my thought processes, it's how I think and how I see the world. I see the world um, through that creative mindset. I, I, I respond to the colours and the shapes in the world. I respond very, I suppose, very much to the visual world. So um, I suppose I see the world as um, a painting. I see it as something... I'm very curious about the world. I love to look and see, you know, how nature puts colours next to each other, how um, architecture, you know, how buildings are created and the different shapes and how things, you know, different things put next to each other, What, what, how that, how I respond to them as a human being. So uh, um, I guess it's it's how I live my life. I, I, um, I am often applying my creativity to my life. Creativity is, is generally um, a lot about problem solving. So creative people, we like to have um, new ways to solve problems. We're, we're, um, I love to apply colour to things. I like to apply new ideas to things. So it's being creative to me means... Um, it's the way I live my life. It's not just here in the studio. It's it's everywhere I go. I take myself with me and my thought processes and the way that I view the world. So I'm constantly being an artist. I'm constantly being creative and viewing the world through, you know, through my creative little gra glasses. And um, yeah, I don't I don't think that ever stops. I think that's a gift that you have. That's a beautiful gift. And um, yeah, enjoy it. The next question is um, what or who inspires me? And so I guess viewing the world as a creative person, lots of things inspire me. Nature inspires me. Actually, if I feel a little bit uncomfortable in sometimes, nature is a great way to inspire me, to, to soothe me. It, um, I love that natural, spontaneous um, combination of textures and colours in nature. and and the quietness of nature. Um, even in birds singing, there's a harmony and there's a there's a quietness, there's a beauty that, um, that I find very inspiring. Um, aside from that, I love to go and see um, other exhibitions. I love to see particularly indigenous exhibitions here in Australia um, because I love the naive art and the way that they put colours and shapes and things together. So, that's not how I work, but sometimes just seeing what other people are doing in the world, interesting art or interesting music, it inspires me to pull out of myself some more interesting aspects of what I do. So lots of things inspire me, from you know the colours of food on a plate to nature's um, the way nature will put you know purple and yellow together in a flower. Um, all sorts of things inspire me. Sometimes, quite often, music. I love live music particularly. And, you know, somebody who's really excited and passionate about playing or singing um, is, is a magical thing. And it just it makes me feel really happy inside. And so then I take that happiness, bring that back into the studio and create with that. Um, my process then is... Um, often begins with language, so I often will um, write a poem or there will be some language that starts a process for me. Um, for example, in this piece that's behind me, um, this started with a poem and some one line from the poem is, is on the bottom and that sort of tells you what the topic was about. So it starts with um, a poem and, and that just sort of flows through me. It could be in response to something that I've seen or done. Um, and it just sort of holds the story of that experience. And then from that, I play with the shapes. And, you know, so 
I'll play often play on brown paper or big pieces of paper and create um, a composition of the story that comes from the poem. And from there, then I also like to add on, you know, embellished pieces. I like to, to you know, see so these pieces are added on to the surface of the work. So my process is, um, it's not as simple as just um, painting onto the canvas. It starts with the poetry and ends up, you know, you know adding on interesting pieces of embroidery or embellished, you know, bits of plywood that add and kind of pull you outside of the canvas. And I find that really exciting and interesting. So that's sort of a very quick encapsulation of, of how I work. It's a little bit different to um, most artists, I would say. And I generally use acrylic paint, um, but as you can see, I also use embroidery threads and, um, and fabrics and plywood and yeah, I don't limit my mediums to to what's expected. So I allow myself to play. I think play is really, really important in, in creativity. You've got to give yourself permission to, to be free and to express whatever it is that you want to express. Mainly, I mean, I, I'm... I would throw it out to you and say, what do you think that I'm communicating with my work? What is it that you feel when you look at my work? Do you have feelings of joy or happiness or, you know, what does it make you feel? Generally, what you're feeling is what I am trying to communicate. So with my work, um, even though I've had, you know, different, my life has been up and down, I always try to, to find the joy in that. I always try and you know, come back to the source of who I am, which I, in my, my being, is joy. And so my work is generally about expressing and communicating the joy that I feel being alive. Um, and I find mostly people, that's what they experience when they view my work. Um, so, um... This is a message for Sana and for your beautiful students and I feel very privileged to be Artist of the Month for you all the way over there in Bahrain doing your creative thing and I'm yeah I'm very excited that Sana contacted me and um, I, I, I guess the message I want to give you is is to play make sure that you feel free with your art to play you have to give yourself permission sometimes to to, to really listen to what it is that you want to do and allow that to come out. And that's uniquely yours. You know, nobody else has exactly that, that um, recipe for who you are. And so when you express and when you paint and when you put the yellow next to the red and then the purple line through it, that's because, you know, that's how you want to do it. So um, I guess my, my main message would be just you know, follow your heart and always feel free to, to play with it and keep growing and keep evolving and keep learning and, and have fun with it because that's what I do. I still have fun with it. See you. Bye.